Sarah here. I was just running in Rye, New Hampshire, and I found this really cool scallop shell. Now, there's no scallop in it, um, but they're really neat looking shells, and there's a lot more to this animal than meets the eye. So I'm gonna go ask my friend Ben at the Seco Science Center if he can tell me more. Come join me. Hey Ben, I was just out for a run, and I saw a really cool scallop shell. I don't know that much about scallops. Can you tell me a little bit more? Yeah, so we actually have a couple of them in the tank here. So these are the scallops that we like to talk about. These are deep water scallops, or deep sea scallops is another name for them. So they have two sides to a shell. There's a top and a bottom. You can actually see there's a distinct difference. Oh, yeah. So when they get flipped over, if they get flipped over, they can actually right themselves. Um, but if they can't, this side will actually grow darker, and this side will grow lighter and flatter too. So you can see they have that nicer rib texture to them on the both sides. Um, and they grow a little bit bigger than this. So how big are the scallop shells that you find outside? Um, it was about that size. So about this size? I guess it wasn't full grown then. No, this is about your, this is an average size scallop. Actually, it's pretty average for the size that you eat too. So the part that you're eating is inside here. And it's called the abductor muscle. And it's what allows it to open and close. And then if you look really carefully in here, you see all these little black dots. So he has about a hundred eyes that go all the way around his body. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, it helps them see. And it's oh, he's gonna drop yep. over here. So you can see. So they do that when they're scared, he's gonna try to actually flop away from them. Okay, yeah, but I see the abductor yeah, muscle the abductor right muscle in there. And then everything else is in there too. It's kinda of all wrapped around. And you can see his eyes a little bit there as well. No, they can so they can move, they can write themselves. They can, so actually we'll put them back in and see if I get them to shut. So the best way to see how well they move is, they have a very good way of getting away from their natural predator, which is a sea star. Okay. So sea stars like to try to wrap around these guys and then eat them from the inside of their shell. So the best way to test this out is, we put the sea star on top of the scallop. And usually the scallop will open up, very slowly pull in a bunch of water and then Oh, oh, there yeah, he goes. Yeah, he's getting ready to do it. See, it's really good. Oh, and he kind of just oh, right, skitters away from it. And then the sea star is kind of left without it. Now, what do they eat? So these guys are um, they're plankton feeders. So what they're doing is they're eating all the detritus and plankton that's found in the water. In fact, we mix our own plankton in the back and we add it to the tank. Usually once or twice a week. And we have a lot of different features in here that folks will eat their food. So that's what he does. So is that kind of like a, um, a humpback whale with their band name? Is that the same concept? Uh, or? Kind of. So for them to filter out their food, they open up just like you see him doing now. Um, and then they, actually that's a better example of it right there. So they pull the plankton inside their, they pull the water plankton inside their shell. It gets digested in their stomach and then clean water comes out. So yes, it helps him eat and actually it helps Water. Really cool. Really good filters. Really cool. Good to know. Well, that's great information because all I knew is that they had pretty shells. So, this is great. Go. Thanks so much, Ben. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, gotta run. See ya.